Crypto products and NFTs are unregulated and can be highly risky. There may be no regulatory recourse for any loss from such transactions. Hi guys, this is Kishore, founder and CEO for Crowdfund Junction and Matt for NFTs. And we are back again with another video on live markets. So we're going to analyze Bitcoin and we're going to see where we think Bitcoin is going to go from here. So let's move on straight to the charts. So this is the chart for Bitcoin. As you can see over here, right now it is trading at around $20,800. And what we're going to do is we're going to place some horizontal lines over here. So I would say this is the first resistance where we think Bitcoin is going to face at 21,699. That's the first resistance. The second resistance which it's going to face is going to be here at 22,408 and then 23,412. 23,950 and finally 24,564. So these are all the levels which we think that Bitcoin is going to face resistance. In fact, Bitcoin is right now already at a very strong resistance level. So there's a very high chance from here it may go down. But if it doesn't, then it will break and go to 21,699 and then 22,408. 23,412, 23,950, and then finally 24,562. So these are the uh, various levels at which we think that Bitcoin is going to face resistance. So if you are trading Bitcoin, please take note of these levels. Uh, let's talk about options. So we can see over here that if Bitcoin breaks and goes up, it, the level is going to be 21,699. And if it drops, it's going to drop back to 20,824. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that if you're going to sell options to collect the premium, we have to look at these different levels. So let's go back to Delta Exchange. And on Delta Exchange, we're going to select options expiring on 28th of October, which is one day from now. And because Bitcoin is going up, we will be actually selling put options and the put options that we're going to sell is going to be at levels as we can see over here if it has to drop it will take support so let me kind of take away all these lines so we look at the upside now let's look at the downside So Bitcoin has to fall back, it will fall to 20,400 levels. So that's the level where it will drop. So from 20,800, it will drop to 20,400. And that's the level where it may take its support and then hopefully again rebound and go up. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at one day expiry and we will sell anything which is below 20,400. Now remember this expiry is going to be in one day. So 20,400 and below. So it's 20,300 is giving us $167. 20,200 is giving us 142. 20,100 is giving us 121. 20,000 is giving us 100. Which means if you sell the 20,000 put options, as long as Bitcoin stays above 20,000, and our support is 20,400 levels, which is the support that we see in Bitcoin. So as long as Bitcoin stays above 20,000, so this is what we are looking at, this, this level. So we will get $100 by selling the 20,000 puts. As long as Bitcoin stays above 20,000 within the next one day, we will pocket this hundred dollars so this could be one of the strategies for those of you who would not want to kind of take directional approach which means you don't want to 
buy Bitcoin in case it comes down. You rather sell a put option of 20,000 levels or strike and collect $100. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you like what you learned today. Our goal is purely educational. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. The more informed you are, the better decision you can take. If you like what we have shared with you, please smash the like and subscribe button. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you.